Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a COVID elbow bump to everybody. I'm so happy to be back with you guys. We're gonna catch up. I'm gonna tell you everything that's been going on in life over the past two or three months. First of all, I feel so good having makeup on again. I'm gonna show you how I get this going nowhere quarantine look. All right guys, where do we begin? I'm looking at the wrong spot, Fuck. Thank God Wendy's here. I'm so happy. It feels so good to be back in the studio and I have missed you guys. It's been about two or three months since I have been filming anything and I honestly have not been wearing makeup, so this is gonna be fun. But I wanted to just say that obviously you guys know that 2020 has been insane. It's been such a roller coaster. I feel like it's a big reset for everybody and it feels like 2020 has proven to be about relationships. And I think I am trying to just like see the silver lining in whatever we can just to kind of get through. I also feel like it's put a lot of things into perspective and we all realized like we took a lot of things for granted. So I stopped doing tutorials. It felt weird talking about hair. It felt weird talking about makeup. I'm gonna sprinkle it back into life, but I am fully like indulged and invested in um, educating myself about voting and the process and about just civil injustice i'm just i'm happy to be here doing this this is what i love beauty has been honestly like my saving grace throughout my whole life and i'm gonna do my makeup because i'm actually gonna film some hair tutorials if i remember how to do hair but i'm happy you guys are joining me and if there's anything you guys want me to go over let me know in the comments and we're back baby we're back but we're better and we're smarter let's see maybe i'll be prettier who knows okay good <laughs> okay guys so I am using a Kevin Aquan eyelash curler. That's what this is called. Obviously you guys know everything that's going on with lockdown and quarantine and COVID and the civil rights protests and the movement that we're in and the election coming up. It, you know all the things, so I don't need to reiterate or go over it again. Um, how do I do this? Oh my God. I'm using Charlotte Tilbury Airblush Flawless Foundation in number seven neutral, which actually is a little light for me, but I'm very tan right now, so I need to get like a tan foundation situation. And then I'm using Kevin O'Quan SX10. It's called um, the Sensual Skin Enhancer. This is gonna be so light. I'm actually a little nervous. So I'm a little tan right now because I have been in our backyard on the weekends, and I also started running in the mornings around our neighborhood. Damn it, I don't have my water guy. He's in my car, damn it. Is there a water bottle or water sprayer? So I like to actually spritz my beauty blender before I start putting my foundation and blending it in. What was I saying? So guys, a couple things that I've been doing. I actually have a routine for the first time in my entire life, because you guys know my world has been about traveling for really like the past six years. And I have to say like the things that have helped me get through lockdown is having like, a bit of structure. Like I mentioned before, I've been doing a bit of like running in the morning and I've been working out. So this is Tom Ford Intensity One SS18. I'm using this as a bronzer. And this is my favorite brush. This is actually from Huda Beauty. And I don't even know if it's for bronzer, but I use it for it. And another thing that's really helped me is meditating. I know that like the Headspace app is amazing. A lot of people love the Calm app. I've been doing the Hoffman Institute's morning meditations that they have on their Instagram. Wow, it's been a minute since I've done this. Um, meditation has helped a lot. Another exciting thing is we celebrated our wedding anniversary this summer and I got Mike a rowing machine. So he's been like obsessed with doing the hydro row. And I gotta be honest, there's like cute trainers on there. <whistles> FYI, look up Nick, the hydro row, he's really cute. Okay, so now I'm gonna use KKW Beauty. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite palettes ever. It is the blush palette. And I like to mix number one and number three. And Mary Phillips told me, Charlotte Tilbury, <laughs> that like this maybe is not sanitary, but it's very important to take off most of the blush before you put it on so that you don't look like toddlers and tiaras. Now I'm doing brows. This is Anastasia Brow Wiz in Ebony. Another thing that I have been really, really loving and it's been kind of my saving grace is going to the farmer's market and supporting like local farmers, obviously wearing a mask and being really safe. I love going hiking, finding hikes that are open. It was really hard for me when all the hikes were closed in LA, but I suggest if you guys do go hiking, get up really, really early just so that you kind of, you know, just to be safe so that you miss the rush hour. It's hard, <laughs> it's so hard. 
Okay, now I'm gonna set in those brows. This is um, Anastasia Brow Gel. This is one of my favorite things in the world because I have such unruly brows and it really makes such a difference. Okay, next up we're gonna do eyes. I'm using the KKW Beauty eyeshadow palette. This is the Matte Cocoa Collection. Right, I'm gonna mix a little bit of the cream with honey to kind of use as like my base color for my lid. Have you guys been watching a ton of tutorials? I'm curious if you guys have been actually like getting ready. The consensus I've gotten so far from my Instagram is that everyone's been living in ponytails, buns, everyone has super long hair, but I've also heard that people are laying off of like doing a lot of styling and heat damage, which I think is actually really, really awesome because when's the last time we've gone this long without, you know, taking hot tools and blow dryers to your hair. Next up, I'm gonna take desert and bamboo and mix those two together and just kind of like put a little bit of color up on the higher part of the brow bone. But I feel like everybody's kind of embracing their natural texture right now, which is super awesome to see. I'm now gonna go and use Cocoa, which I love this color so much. I'm using cocoa. Just really get it into the crease. I love that I was just blocking my eyes. I did that. I'm really like getting into the crease towards my nose, which I never used to do. And I watched one Dizzy Perkins video and now it's my jam. So I'll fill you guys in with work. I have to say a huge thank you to everyone that supported Way because we were biting our nails in April and we have had such incredible support from Sephora and from Ulta and our .com and you guys have all been so amazing. Like we, thank God, knock on wood, have not had to furlough anybody and the team has been working so hard and we're over Zooms, like everyone's over Zooms. We can't wait to get back into our beautiful office that took two years to make. I think we were there for like three weeks and then we had to go into quarantine. All right, now I'm gonna do my liner with actual a shadow instead of a pen. This is the color wood. So shout out to the Way team for all of their hard work. Like everybody's been amazing. Like they've got kids at home that they've been teaching while we've been doing all of our regular marketing and sales meetings and product development meetings. And I've been so impressed with everyone and the main addicts team and the way team, we appreciate each other and just being able to be in an office and walking to someone's desk to ask a question. We took that for granted. So I can't wait to get back into our groove once it's safe. I'm just dusting a little bit of that wood color on the very underneath part, just to kind of like open up my eye a little bit more. <sighs> I'm now going to put some Chantecai mascara. This is in Longest Lash. No, that's what it is. This is in Faux Seals. Faux Seal. It's a black color. I don't know. So I've also been reading a ton and I have had so much fun. I need a mirror. Hold on. So one thing I've been doing a lot of is reading and I actually announced my book. I don't know if you guys caught that or not. And it's going to be coming out in December. One of the coolest cats out there is Jen Atkin, who is launching her new book, Blowing My Way to the Top. This is so exciting. Stay cool, cats. I'm working on all the details now for like fun ideas for virtual book tours. So stay tuned for that. And then I've been reading a ton of really good books. I forgot to wipe this off my hand. So I'm reading this incredible book right now by Jen Sincero called How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness. I read White Fragility. I am in the middle of reading Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race. And it kind of explains the um, civil injustice that's going on in the UK and has been going on. If you guys are reading any books, let me know. I'd love to get any of your suggestions. Okay, so this is one of my favorites. It's Chanel Under Eye Concealer. This is in number 30. What's been kind of great about not wearing makeup is I feel like I haven't been as hard on myself about any like under eye bags and I've actually been getting good sleep. I have been really, really, really happy about being consistent and using my habit tracker. And I also decided to cut out sugar and carbs. I know, <gasps> gas from everybody. I've never done it before, but I have to say, the reason I'm doing it, it's not because I'm trying like desperately to lose a ton of weight. Oh, this is YSL powder, this is in number four. But I will say it's not because I'm trying to like drop a ton of pounds quickly or have like an event or something coming up or being hard on myself, it's because I was eating so much bread and pasta and pizza and like definitely I'd say emotionally eating for the first two months of quarantine. And I just wasn't feeling good. I felt like my workouts were harder to get through. I just felt like sluggish. And so I really am focusing on trying to get to 
a better place because you guys have no idea how bad I've been eating. Like I just have been on the go and I never care. So now I'm trying to like do some research and figure out like healthy alternatives that I can make at home because I don't cook. And it's been really fun. I'm on day 28 today. And I have to say so far I've been okay, no cheat days. So wish me luck. All right guys, this is my favorite trick ever, a red lip when you're feeling tired. This is KKW Beauty's hot sauce and it's one of my favorite reds. So another one of my favorite things is charcuterie boards. I have gotten so into doing charcuterie boards and we've had friends come over to the backyard and I don't cook, but I make a mean charcuterie board. You just throw things on a board and that's it. That's the secret. Also, there's no shame in my game. I think I have nose hairs. I'm getting them right now. <laughs> I love this lip color so much. Oh my God, this is KKW lip liner in red too. And then you guys, I gotta give a shout out to my friend group. We are on a group chat. They were all the, the ride or dies that came to my birthday party right before we went into lockdown. We call ourselves Club Quarantine. And it's been so fun because we've all been checking in on each other and making each other laugh and sending each other like fun packages. And so that has been the funnest part is being able to spend time with friends and see my friend's kids, which I never used to be able to see and just, you know, keeping each other in a positive place. So there you have it. I'm gonna actually finish my hair. This is Balmain Session Strong Spray. Because if I'm gonna do this, I should do this right. All right guys, there you have it. This is my not going anywhere glam look. Thank you for watching and make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. I missed you.